You'd like to start with the envelope if you have complete flexibility. It's the part of the building that has the longest live components. It will make a significant impact on heating and cooling loads, so it delivers both energy and non-energy benefits. And it lays the stage for future heating and cooling system upgrades uh, that are a lower cost upgrade because you're dropping the need for heating and cooling. Perhaps the most significant element of the building envelope are the windows. That's where your greatest area of market opportunity is and that's where you're going to find the most significant energy problems and the most significant occupant comfort problems. So what are some of the problem side of windows? Older windows tend to leak air. If you go and look at the, the framing of the window, the gasket connection between glass and window frame, any older buildings you can see daylight through there, tend to have excessive air infiltration. So we the uh, conductive heat loss through a window can translate in the cold weather, as well as the warm weather, to excessive inside surface temperatures on the glass and on the frame itself. And we have, uh, during the cooling season, we have uncontrolled solar gain, which usually translates to an occupant behavior response to close the blinds, which solves the solar gain problem, but now why even have a window? Because you've just blocked your view. With secondary glazing, these projects can be done with about a three-foot perimeter, working perimeter. People can stay working in their desk, actually, while the, the secondary glazing insert's going in. That's where the big savings is, in reducing labor hours and making this doable during normal occupied hours. You don't have to pay a premium for night and weekend work. I would apply what I call the 20-20 rule. You should expect a 20% energy use reduction if you upgrade all the windows in your building, and that's total energy. That's not just heating and cooling energy. And you should expect a 20% reduction in your peak heating and cooling loads, really your annualized loads, but, but the peaks as well. So that's gonna translate to future mechanical system downsizing, downsizing potential. You should also expect the whole myriad of non-energy benefits that would accrue to the folks living and working in your building. For the building envelope, the windows are the problem, but they're also the solution.